Even though I use a tick repellent, my cat still ends up getting about three ticks every year, so I've gotten pretty good at removing them. It's best to have a tool like this that you can use like a crowbar. If you use a tweezer or your fingers, you could end up squeezing the blood from inside the tick back into your cat, which isn't a good idea since it might contain Lyme's disease. And a tool like this helps to get the tick's head out so it doesn't cause an infection. Ticks can be really hard to find on cats since cats have such thick coats. But if you pet your cat enough, you should be able to feel them. Here it is, and you can see that it's a partially engorged ear tick. Once you get the tool under the tick, it's best to pry steadily upward but sometimes it takes a few tries with small deer ticks. As you can hear, Yuki doesn't love this experience. So be sure to reward your cat afterward. And note that sometimes the site gets a little bloody when you successfully remove the head.